tonight in Jacksonville, Florida, where in your main event, it is Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one with Carmelo Hayes. Lashley, Mello, three tonight on Raw. Now, originally, this was supposed to be a six-man tag team matchup. However, Trick Williams suffering injury two weeks ago inside the squared circle with the almighty Bobby Lashley. The events have changed and Lashley and Mello meet for the third and final time. It is the rubber match tonight in Jacksonville. But we kick things off on the road to Clash at the Castle with the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship, the man, Becky Lynch. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with Cora Jade as we kick off Monday Night Raw. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Well, Becky Lynch has got a new leash on her career and coming up a week from Sunday, it is Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales, where Becky will meet the Nightmare Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship. Rhea cashing in her Money in the Bank contract successfully a few weeks back at the SmackDown exclusive No Mercy event. And just 24 hours later, Becky Lynch writing the wrong in her mind of WrestleMania earlier this year, defeating the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, at Unforgiven. Becky two weeks ago on the season premiere as well, picking up a victory over Sonya Deville, so momentum is on the side of the new number one contender. Cora Jade ready to give Becky Lynch a run for her money tonight, but I don't know if the number one contender's eye on the prize can be steered by anybody right now other than the man herself, Becky Lynch. We are live tonight from the Veterans Memorial in Jacksonville, Florida. Should be a great night of action as we are less than two weeks away from Clash at the Castle, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales. Sunday night, October the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We will be live. And Cora Jade with a huge opportunity tonight. One of Monday Night Raw's upstarts in the women's division. Getting assigned to the Raw brand earlier this year, really has yet to find her stride here on Monday nights, but a win over Becky Lynch could easily, easily put Cora Jade in mind for a future championship opportunity, regardless of who, who leaves Principality Stadium as the women's champion. Rhea Ripley has been one of the most dominating and intimidating figures on Monday Night Raw, especially over the last couple of months, ever since the formation of the Judgment Day back in the spring. Meanwhile, Becky Lynch we're gonna send a message to the Nightmare herself. Little STF locked in. She tapped out Tiffany Stratton of this maneuver several weeks back here on Raw. Is it gonna be enough to keep Cora Jade down? But this young upstart, we're gonna make some noise here on the red brand. Getting Becky Lynch off her back, at least for a moment. Still to come tonight in your main event. It is the rubber matchup between Carmelo Hayes and the almighty Bobby Lashley. Again, originally supposed to be a six-man tag team matchup. Lashley and the Street Profits taking on Carmelo Hayes, MVP, and Trick Williams. However, Trick Williams injured two weeks ago in his matchup against the almighty Bobby Lashley here on Raw. So Lashley, Melo going to go one-on-one -on -one tonight instead. No outside interference. Trick out of the picture. And evidently, from what we're hearing, the rumblings in the locker room, MVP going to stay away tonight. Carmelo Hayes looking to do it on his own and defeat Bobby Lashley in this rubber match coming up in your main event live tonight here in Jacksonville. Let's focus in on the action inside the squared circle at the current moment. Becky Lynch looking to wear down Cora Jade, but went to the well one too many times. That leg drop, and Cora made her pay for it. Cora Jade looking to introduce the generation of Jade here on Monday Night Raw, and a win over Becky Lynch could easily start that momentum here tonight. You defeat the number one contender, you possibly put yourself in line for a chance at whether it be Becky or Rhea Ripley, whoever leaves Cardiff Wales as the women's champion. The uprise of Cora Jade could be among us here on Monday Night Raw. So far, looking half decent in this matchup. If she comes off the middle buckle, I don't think got exactly what she wanted on that delivery, but still, Becky Lynch down and out, at least momentarily. Oh, but don't count out the number one contender. Laser focused these last few months on climbing her way back to the top of the mountain. 
McCord Jade with other plans. Quick pinfall there. Will that do it? Not just yet. Cora Jade searching for victory tonight. Hungry to climb the ranks here on Monday Night Raw. I'm sure Rhea Ripley has got her eyes on this matchup. Looking to scout out her number one contender as Cora Jade misses wildly off the dropkick and Becky Lynch is now making her pay for it. Great series of combination maneuvers there by the number one contender and now the man looking to disarm her opponent here tonight. Disarm her locked in on Cora Jade. And a little bit far from the ropes, Cora has got no choice but to tap out. Becky Lynch with an emphatic statement made because one week from Sunday, she meets the most dominating, intimidating woman over the last few months here on Monday Night Raw, that being the new WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Big time victory for the number one contender here tonight. Will that momentum be enough to carry her to Clash of the Castle for a win? Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea Ripley's in the ring, and Rhea using her women's championship over the dome of the number one contender. Becky Lynch made a statement, but Rhea Ripley one-upping her. These two women will meet for that gold a week from Sunday at Clash at the Castle. Well, this past Saturday night in Hammerstein Ballroom, we witnessed the conclusion to the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Over the last eight weeks, it was an incredible 16-man eliminator, and it all came down to the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano and the invincible Ilya Dragunov. And these two men leaving their blood, sweat, and tears, their heart and soul inside the squared circle in the finals of the CWC. But in the end, not one, but two Torpedo Moscows from Ilya Dragunov awarding him the victory and becoming the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic winner. Dragunov will now take his talents to Friday Night SmackDown, where, we, where he will challenge in the near future for the Cruiserweight Championship against Santos Escobar. Congratulations to Ilya Dragunov. Hats off to everybody who participated in the CWC and the replay available now if you missed out on what was an incredible finale this past Saturday afternoon. Well, we are back inside the Veterans Memorial here in Jacksonville, Florida. And the A-list superstar, The Miz, may be looking like a D-list superstar over the last few months because I cannot count. We have to turn back the calendar months on months on months to see when the last time The Miz picked up a victory was. And not to help his cause, but he lost to a returning Kevin Owens three weeks ago. Now tonight, he's got the other half of the fold in Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn looking to carve a new path here on Monday Night Raw. Remember Kevin Owens took a little bit of a hiatus after his matchup with Brock Lesnar back in August at SummerSlam. He returned to the red brand three weeks ago, defeating The Miz in short and effective time period to say the least. Sami Zayn, who's been on the hunt for the Intercontinental Championship in LA Knight as of late, now set to take on The Miz one-on-one -on -one here in the Veterans Memorial in Jacksonville, Florida. I want to thank you for joining us here live for Monday Night Raw as we are continuing on here. Sami Zayn with his hands full against the A-list superstar. Maybe I should say the other way around because The Miz already not looking so hot in this opening contest. Our second contest, it's all the same. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn, never back at Unforgiven last month, was in a triple threat matchup alongside Cedric Alexander and L.A. Knight for the Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn not pinned on that night, but did come up short. LA Knight retaining his Intercontinental title. Rumblings in the locker room say that Sami Zayn is still on the hunt for another chance at the Intercontinental Championship. Of course, that title set to be defended a week from Sunday in Cardiff. LA Knight putting the gold on the line against the new number one contender, that being the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, who picked up a monstrous victory seven nights ago against the WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins here on Monday Night Raw. All remains to be seen who's going to leave Cardiff as the champ. And maybe Sami Zayn's going to be awaiting the winner. Really looking for this submission here, wanting to tap out The Miz. But The Miz is just not having it here tonight. 
The Miz is in desperate need of victory here on Monday Night Raw. You know, when he was drafted from SmackDown over here to Monday Night Raw back in March, found himself in the midst of also chasing the number one contendership to the Intercontinental title. Got knocked down a tournament back in the springtime and really has not found any ground ever since. Again, Kevin Owens making short work of the A-list superstar a number of weeks ago, and now Sami Zayn looking to do the same. However, The Miz, well, that might have been all she wrote there. Not just yet. However, The Miz hoping to come in tonight with a different game plan in mind. Sami Zayn has been pretty hot out of the gate. There's been no waste in motion by the great liberator of Monday Night Raw. Sami is all over The Miz tonight. A man who has held the Intercontinental Championship that we are discussing heavily in the past. The Miz is surviving right now, but certainly not thriving against Sami Zayn here on Raw. And Sami again going for the submission hold. Sami is in search of a submission victory tonight. Looking to tap out The Miz inside the squared circle. Maybe he knows something we, does, we don't. Maybe Miz has got a, an injury to the neck or the jaw and something Sami Zayn's trying to prey on. I'm not exactly sure. And the Miz did eat a stunner from Kevin Owens a number of weeks ago. Maybe that's it. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn just continuing to keep the foot on the gas pedal. Miz trying to create some distance, but I don't think Sami Zayn is going to allow that crossbody to the outside. Just a moment ago, we said Sami Zayn keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Well, there's some more examples right there. Up and over the top rope and out going swinging on the outskirts of the ring. The Miz has not had an answer for Sami Zayn in this matchup. He hasn't had an answer for any of his opponents for months here on Raw. It's not that we haven't seen Miz put his best foot forward, if you will, or try to push his opponents to the limit. But in the end, he has just not been able to get the one, two, three. Right now, things aren't looking so hot for The Miz here tonight in Jacksonville either. Nonetheless, sending The Miz back inside the square circle. Sami Zayn on his tail. He's been controlling this entire matchup. And now Sami looking for a blue thunder bomb Into the cover. And who says the blue thunder bomb can't be a finish? A one, two, three. Sami Zayn getting the victory here on Raw. Well, thanks for coming, Miz. Better luck next time, because Sami Zayn gets the W. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn. And you, you gotta wonder what is next for this duo. The KO and Sami show were the focal point of the red brand, causing havoc for months. They've kind of taken a back seat, but is there a new game plan? Is Sami still chasing the Intercontinental Championship? And what is next for the prize fighter, Kevin Owens? All remains to be seen here on the red brand for the KO and Sammy Show. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the castle and it is coming your way sunday night october the 22nd live at 5 p.m eastern time don't miss this international extravaganza as raw and smackdown present clash at the castle Clash at the Castle is coming your way a week from Sunday, October the 22nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, and it is a massive card coming up in Cardiff. The WWE World Tag Team titles are on the line. SmackDown's Legato Del Fantasma challenges Monday Night Raw's Brawling Brutes. Brutes, LDF, Tag Team Gold is up for grabs. Another championship from Monday Night Raw. The Intercontinental title is on the line. The Mega Superstar, L.A. Knight, defends the title against the number one contender, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, who has been making waves on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley laying out Becky Lynch at the top of the hour. Becky Lynch is going to be looking for some retribution and looking to take away the WWE Women's Championship. It's the man, the nightmare, one-on-one -on -one for the Golden Cardiff. 
signed this past weekend from Friday Night Smackdown. The Rated R Superstar Edge looking to settle the score with All Day Austin Theory once and for all. These two Smackdown All-Stars will meet October the 22nd at Clash at the Castle. You want to talk about an all-star collision? Look no further than the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. This match to determine a future challenger for the WWE title. Also coming up on the 22nd, SmackDown's main event, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, gets his long-awaited one-on-one meeting with the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. And Monday Night Raw's main event, Last man standing matchup, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the champion, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Something's got to give. Who will answer the referee's count of 10 and leave as the WWE champion? Last at the castle, going to be a massive event. Again, we are live one week from Sunday, October the 22nd, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, for what is shaping up to be one of our biggest match cards of the year. We are back inside the Veterans Memorial here in Jacksonville, Florida for Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander, who has been on a string of bad luck as of late, looking to bounce back tonight, but he has certainly got his hands full against the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. And Karrion Cross has been steering a rocky ship as of late, and things really blowing up in Cross's face a number of weeks ago when he went one-on-one -on -one with the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa here on Monday Night Raw. We'll take you back to a number of weeks back here on the red brand. Champa and Cross engulfed in a brutalizing matchup with each other. And in the end, Champa, a second fairy tale ending was enough to score the victory over Karrion Cross. A loss that did not sit well with Cross. Because moments after the bell, as you see here, Karrion Cross from behind attacking Tommaso Champa off his exit from the ring and ambush at ringside, leaving the black heart laying. As you'll see here, right into the steel steps, Tommaso Ciampa went by hands of the Harbinger of Doom. Karrion Cross throwing down the gauntlet, not happy with that loss. And now Cross back in action tonight and is looking to get his momentum back on track here on Monday Night Raw. Karrion Cross was really climbing the ranks over the summer challenge for the WWE Championship. We said Cedric Alexander's been on a string of bad luck. We might be able to say the same sentiment for the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. But will Cross turn everything around here tonight? Something's got to give between these two men. Somebody's got to get a W. Somebody's got to get back on the right track. Will it be Cedric Alexander? Or will it be this intimidating figure carrying Cross? Alongside that wicked witch, Scarlet. Remember, Karrion Cross was also the third and final matchup for Sheamus in his gauntlet match a few weeks ago in the season premiere. Coming up short against the Celtic Warrior, as where Sheamus earned his championship matchup against Seth Rollins at Clash at the Castle. A whole lot of writing on that match. Cannot wait to see Rollins and Sheamus in the last man standing coming up a week from Sunday. But right here, right now, it is Cedric Alexander, it is Karrion Cross, and it is Monday Night Raw as we continue forward. Still to come tonight in your main event, Lashley Mello 3. Carmelo Hayes picked up the victory a month and change ago here on Raw in their first ever meeting. Bobby Lashley even the playing field, defeating Carmelo back at Unforgiven. Now it's the rubber match here tonight. Lashley looking to keep his momentum strong on the road to that big time affair against Brock Lesnar. A clash at the castle. Carmelo Hayes looking to carve his niche, carve his path solidify his spot as a futures piece of Monday Night Raw. Right here, right now, Cedric Alexander carrying cross, and Alexander looking to take the fight to the Harbinger of Doom. Just last week in Miami, Cedric went one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, unfortunately came up short, and definitely recommend going to watch the replay, because Alexander just gave everything he had against the Intercontinental Champion last week, but in the end, LA Knight was just the better man, and Cedric Alexander, his long pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship is gonna have to take a pause. He's going to the back seat for right now, back of the line, and Alexander's gonna have to work his way back up to becoming the number one contender. All remains to be seen if Alexander's got what it takes. Arian Cross trying to get his wits about him as Alexander's looking good in this match. 
The Brain Buster by Cedric Alexander. Oh, well, Alexander's got to watch out for that wicked witch Scarlet at ringside who will happily take the eye off the ball of carrying Cross's opponents. Cross taking advantage from behind at the Lariat and now a big time devastating power bomb. And just in the snap of the fingers, Scarlet pulling the right card, taking Alexander's eye off the ball and Karrion Cross is back in control with emphatic force. As we mentioned, Karrion Cross was searching the WWE Championship throughout the summer, had a couple of opportunities, unfortunately for him, coming up short. And as Cross has again been steering a rocky ship, momentum's been a little back and forth for Cross in the month of September and bleeding into October. Let's see if tonight Cross can really turn things around against Cedric Alexander, maybe start climbing the ranks yet again. Short cross and love an opportunity. Wait a minute, hold that thought as Alexander again muscling, carrying Cross up into the bridge. Oh, he almost had him there. Close call for Cedric, but not enough just yet. Phenomenal performance as always by Cedric Alexander, giving it all inside the squared circle. Nobody home off the springboard. Cross looking to take advantage off the misstep. Now Cedric on top, and now Cross is ragged on him back to the canvas. As we were mentioning a moment ago, I'm sure Karrion Cross would love to get that momentum back on track and be waiting in the win for whoever leaves Cardiff Wales as the WWE Champion. Whether it be Seth freaking Rollins, the current champion, or the challenger, Sheamus. But before we talk that, we need to focus on the now. Carrying Cross with the Doomsday Saido, not enough for the three count, but Cedric Alexander has got to be dazed and he's got to be hurt. Carrying Cross might not have got the three that he was looking for, but all that does is allow Carrying Carrion Cross to inflict more punishment on his opponent. Shall I say, bring the Doomsday upon his opponent that much more. Cedric Alexander trying to get his wits about him on the outside of the ring and Karrion Cross not going to be overzealous, not going to chase Alexander. Allows him to fall back in the ring, fall into the trap of the Harvester of Doom. Alexander fighting out between a rock and a hard place, never count out Cedric Alexander. Things have been rocky as of late, but you know he's going to keep pressing forward. However, Karrion Cross, big time kick to the dome. And the Harbinger of Doom is stalking his opponent, looking for the straight jacket. And he's got it locked in tight. Alexander nowhere to go. And he's forced to tap out in the middle of Jacksonville, Florida. Carry and Cross came with a blueprint and absolutely executed it to perfection. Cedric Alexander giving it all he has as he always does. But things are just not going the way of Cedric right now. He's going to have to go back to the drawing board and refocus a new plan. Tonight belongs to the Harbinger of Doom. Intimidating performance by Karrion Cross. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tommaso Ciampa. Well, is he coming? Champa's be. Oh, wait a minute, Champa from behind. Tommaso Champa from behind, laying out Carrion Cross. An eye for an eye, says the Blackheart. You laid me out a few weeks ago. Revenge served tonight. Tommaso wasn't gonna take it lying down, and now Cross is the one staring at the lights. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Too far. Are you ready to 
The road to the clash at the castle makes a pit stop in Atlanta, Georgia next week. In the main event, it is going to be champions versus challengers. It's the Celtic Warriors, Sheamus, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, team up to take on the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, and the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. It's the final Monday Night Raw before Clash at the Castle coming your way next week in Atlanta. We are live tonight in Jacksonville and it is main event time here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado weighing in at 200 73 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Let's take a look back about six weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. Lashley 101 for the first time ever against Carmelo Hayes. And Hayes giving the almighty a run for his money on that night. But you see the double knees and then the story here was Melo using the feet on the ropes to gain the leverage and stealing a victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley on that night. That is a loss that did not sit well with Bobby Lashley and he certainly came back for more. And with Lashley less than two weeks ahead before his match with the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar in Cardiff, Wales, what is going through the mind of Lashley? Carmelo Hayes tonight, a shot at the WWE title hanging in the balance in Cardiff. Lashley's got a busy schedule, looking to keep up here tonight in Jacksonville. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. And it was last month at Unforgiven in Chicago, the rematch between Mello and Lashley, where Bobby Lashley once again was pushed to his absolute limits, but certainly dished it right back to Carmelo Hayes. A spear that cut Mello in half in the middle of All State Arena, and that was a scored victory for Bobby Lashley. So if you're keeping score, that's one for Carmelo Hayes, one for the almighty Bobby Lashley. We need the rubber match. Again, it's supposed to be a six man tag team match here tonight. Mello, Trick, and MVP. Taking on Lashley and the Street Profits. Unfortunately, an injury coming to light to Trick Williams that he suffered two weeks ago here on the season premiere of Raw against Bobby Lashley. Trick unable to compete. Let's settle the score the old fashioned way. MVP barred from ringside. No Street Profits, no Trick. Mello, Lashley, one on one. Settle the score live here on Raw. Should be a great matchup. And you know, this feud between Mello and Lashley has really started to be a coming out party for Carmelo, he Carmelo Hayes excuse me, here on Monday Night Raw. Can he keep that going tonight in Jacksonville? Bobby Lashley has got other plans, however. My goodness. Tonight is an opportunity to not only keep the momentum strong for Lashley, but to send a message to the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Mello looking for the early victory, but I think he knows it's going to take a little more than that. Mello just trying to get into the psyche of Bobby Lashley. There's one thing Mello needs to learn throughout these contests is that you never turn your back on somebody with the size, strength, and veteran status as Bobby Lashley. Especially Lashley less than two weeks until he fights Brock Lesnar at Cardiff, Wales. A matchup that will determine a future challenger for the WWE Championship. Bobby Lashley is a man who's been seeking championship gold for months here on Raw. You remember he competed for the WWE title back in the main event of SummerSlam, the fatal four-way matchup. Came up short on that night. Lashley with another leash on life, if you will, a week from Sunday at Clash at the Castle. Mello rolling to the outside. That was an, an emphatic Irish whip by Lashley into the buckle. Lashley diving over the top rope. Caution in the wind, but it works out for the almighty this time. And you, know, you remember back to anybody who saw the unforgiving contest between Lashley and Carmelo Hayes. Lashley went for that same dive on numerous occasions throughout the matchup, and it did not work out for Bobby Lashley. So Lashley really playing with the, the chance that Melo was going to have that scouted there. Decided to throw a caution in the wind anyway. It at least worked out from this time for Carmelo Hayes. Not looking to allow Lashley to take advantage of that started momentum. Mello's got all the tools 
to be a future main event player here on Monday Night Raw. One of the breakout stars of NXT in recent years, former NXT champion, North American champion, cruiserweight champion. Came up to the Monday Night Raw back in, back in May by hands of Montel Vontavious Porter. And now Melo all on his own tonight. Going one on one with Bobby Lashley. And imagine the win it could be for Carmelo Hayes, especially with what is ahead for Bobby Lashley. It's the main event of Monday Night Raw. You defeat the Almighty right here tonight. A man who's going to fight Brock Lesnar in less than two weeks at Clash at the Castle. I mean, what that could do for Carmelo Hayes' career only remains to be seen. But first, Melo's going to get the job done, and he's got to do it. And certainly. A statement-making way tonight, to say the least. I don't want to see any feet on the ropes by Mello tonight. Knocking Lashley off the apron. Mello don't miss, and certainly that time he didn't. Lashley feeling the brunt of it. And a Mello this time over the top rope. Somersault plancha down to the ground, and Lashley down and out momentarily. Oh, and Mello keeping it going. A little short order super kick on the outside. Mello Hayes is out to make some noise on the red brand. Sending Bobby Lashley back inside the squared circle. And you got to wonder where Lashley's psyche is at so close to that matchup with Brock Lesnar. Is he looking through Carmelo Hayes tonight? Because if he does, Carmelo Hayes may have a window of opportunity to take advantage of. Dropping the elbow to the heart. But Lashley says not just yet. Lashley with a lot of energy behind that kick out. These two with two matches already behind them. They know each other pretty well at this point. Who's going to get the better of the two in this matchup tonight? Wait a minute, Lashley. Little roll up here. I'm going to steal the victory on Melo. Watch your back, Carmelo Hayes. But there's Carmelo turning things around with the double knees to the jaw. And he's not done just yet. Melo ain't going for an alley-oop. He's going for a slam dunk. Off the top of the leg. Mello don't miss. Into the cover. Oh, almost had him there. Almost had him. Close call. Carmelo Hayes with the double knees. Dropping the leg from the heavens. But Bobby Lashley's heart is still pumping. And Mello now trying to kick into a new gear. Unleash a different side of Mello. And try to give Bobby Lashley maybe something unexpected, something to throw him off his game. And something to ultimately score the three count. And Mello is playing with fire right there, taking things to the ground with Lashley. Inevitably not working out for him. And Lashley, mid rub spear. The trajectory has got to kill the ribs of his opponent. And Lashley going to keep it going. The powerhouse. Looking to turn things around after that close call a few moments ago. Now it's Carmelo Hayes on the run, if you will. And Lashley on the top. Oh, man. Massive hangman's neck breaker from the top into the cover. And Carmelo Hayes, enough wherewithal to get the shoulder up in the matchup, continues here on Monday Night Raw. Mello's first ever main event here on the red brand. And certainly all eyes are on this young star tonight. Will he thrive under pressure? Or will he be a stepping stone for Bobby Lashley's road to clash at the castle? Superplexed by the Almighty. Jacksonville, Florida coming unglued. And Lashley is looking to wrap things up here. Dominator on Mello. Into the cover. Oh, but Carmelo Hayes still in it. Shoulder off the canvas. Mello survives momentarily. Man, physical main event on hand inside the Veterans Memorial here on Monday Night Raw. Lashley and Mello tearing down the house. But who is going to get the three count? Who is going to be the better man? They've each scored a pinfall over the other in the past. And wait a minute. Carmelo Hayes. I think he's looking for the hurt lock. I don't know how well he's got it in, but he's trying to use Lashley's own submission hold against the Almighty. Lashley I, I, is struggling a little bit. I don't know how well Carmelo's got the submission in here. 
Oh, but the big, the big arms of Lashley, the strength of the Almighty to muscle out of it. Bobby Lashley reminding Carmelo Hayes not to bring a knife to a gunfight. Don't try to use the hurt lock against the man who does it best. Melo into the quick cover. Not just yet, Lashley kicks out again. Bobby Lashley may have survived, but is certainly damaged. And Melo better take advantage. This is the naiveness of Carmelo Hayes playing a factor. Oh, well, Bobby Lashley holds on to the top. Melo might have missed that time. And now here's the strength once again on display in the middle of the Veterans Memorial. There's a few times throughout this matchup that Carmelo Hayes unintentionally allowed Lashley to get back into it. Took his eye off the ball. And that is where the veteran status of Bobby Lashley and the naiveness of Carmelo Hayes really shows itself in those moments in this main event contest. Melo on the outside right now, trying to get his wherewithal, but Bobby Lashley coming off the apron, tossing in the win, all in the means of victory tonight. Melo would have thrown his best shot in this contest. After Bobby Lashley turned the tides a few moments ago, the Almighty seems to be kicking it into a new gear. Melo's down, Melo may be out. We may be nearing a conclusion here tonight in Jacksonville. Oh, and right in the barricade. It's been a great night of action here. Second to last Monday Night Raw before we get to Cardiff, Wales. Remember, next week, we're live from Atlanta, Georgia with that Champions versus Challengers tag team main event. Sheamus, Tyler Bate going 2v2 against the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, and the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Coming your way next week. As Bobby Lashley was looking for the elbow off the apron, Nobody home, and Lashley might have just handed the momentum on a silver platter to Carmelo Hayes. Both men go for shots there, and Melo gets the best of it. Carmelo Hayes might have just found a window of opportunity to take advantage of, but will he be able to score the pinfall? Some great strength there showed by this young superstar. Melo Hayes, people have said he's got the it factor. He's going to be one of the main event players of Monday Night Raw for years to come. It could all start here tonight with a main event win over Lashley. And look at Melo showing some strength of the big time. STO down to the canvas. Excuse me, Uranagi. Lashley's down. Lashley's hurt. As this matchup progresses, we're really starting to enter some deep waters here in this rubber match between Lashley and Melo. And Carmelo Hayes, you see, may just be throwing anything he's got at Lashley right now, but a little acai moonsault off the middle buckle into the cover. But Bobby Lashley still is in this fight. Carmelo Hayes thought he had him. Taking things to the sky, and Melo may be looking to do so again. Maybe looking for that slam dunk. Off the top. No, a counter by Lashley. Went to the well too many times with that leg drop. Lashley countered with the power bomb, and now the STO by the Almighty. Bobby Lashley, with a last ditch effort, might have saved his chances at victory here tonight in Jacksonville. Oh, and now Lashley in the corner, looking to repeat Unforgiven, looking for the same result. A spear on Carmelo Hayes, dead center of the ring. And Lashley with the win. Well, Carmelo Hayes, throughout this series of matches with the Almighty, pushing Lashley to his limit in a coming out party for a superstar that is certainly here to stay on Monday Night Raw. But in the end, Lashley, all too motivated and focused on Clash at the Castle. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. A victory for Lashley tonight. But will it be the same result a week from Sunday? Are we looking at the next number one contender for the WWE Championship? October the 22nd, live from Principality Stadium, Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley for the number one contendership to the W.
Wait a minute. Bobby Lashley may be getting an early preview of Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. The Beast, Brock Lesnar. For the first time since Chicago and Unforgiven, Lesnar has made the trip to Jacksonville, Florida. And Brock Lesnar is looking to get an up close and personal look at the man he meets in Principality Stadium a week from Sunday. The country ass kicking alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar is back on Monday Night Raw. A Lesnar in the ring. Oh, these two men squaring off with each other. And Bobby Lashley not looking to be a stepping stone for Brock Lesnar's road to clash at the castle. And we have got a fight on our hands in the middle of the Veterans Memorial as Lesnar with Lashley on his shoulders. And a five by Lesnar. Brock Lesnar came to send a message to the man he meets in Cardiff. One at five may not have been enough. Lesnar's going for the dose. And the Almighty feels the wrath of the beast incarnate. Oh my goodness. And now Lesnar going for the hat trick. A third at five. Brock Lesnar throwing down the gauntlet. Lesnar giving Lashley an early preview of what is to come in Principality Stadium at Cardiff, Wales, a week from Sunday when these two alpha males meet at Clash at the Castle. One week from tonight is the final Monday Night Raw before our trip to Cardiff in Atlanta. We'll see you next week. Thank you, and good night, everybody, from Jacksonville. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.